Good evening. It is getting busy in downtown Phoenix. We're still just six days away from the Super Bowl on Sunday. But over the weekend, more than 70,000 people went to the Phoenix Convention Center for the Super Bowl experience. That is a near record, second most in NFL history, only to Indianapolis in 2012. And if that is any indication of things to come, people are getting very excited about how wildly successful the Super Bowl could be. Come on, let's get fired up. This is the beginning of Super Bowl week. It is finally here. Let's go. Super Bowl 57 at State Farm Stadium. But before kickoff, a week full of events from the East Valley to the West. We are ready to host an epic week of events and to showcase everything that makes Arizona a world-class destination. Jay Perry is the president and CEO of the Arizona Super Bowl host committee. She says the goal with this year's Super Bowl was to expand the footprint of the event and make sure there is something for everyone. We've created a week full of entertainment, fun, music, food, and football. The world has its eyes set on Arizona, with the Super Bowl set to broadcast in more than 200 countries, with more than 200 million people watching the Kansas City Chiefs face off against the Philadelphia Eagles. Back in Arizona for the fourth Super Bowl here, and this is Arizona Super Bowl. This has been the home of some really classic Super Bowls. Um, and this is going to be another one. Former Arizona Cardinals wide receiver and future first ballot Hall of Famer Larry Fitzgerald also involved in the planning. He says this week should be a big win for Arizona. To be able to showcase our great state, I've lived here for 20 years, and to be able to see how our state has grown, how it's continued to grow in so many ways, to be able to see how our tribes are being highlighted for the great work that they continue to do in our state, and all the businesses that will be affected by this game, it, it means so much to our great state. And you can definitely feel the excitement in the air in downtown Phoenix. A lot more people here than what there usually is. And we have a full list of those events on our AZ Family News app, Jared. Like your average Monday evening, David, that's for sure. 70,000 people at the fan experience this weekend. Uh, that's a huge deal uh, with many more nights ahead this week. All right, let's talk about...